every Thursday at 8 p.m. to the club for our cutters. Hi everyone, my name is Deli and if you are subscribed, that's wonderful. Today, as you may know by now because of the title, we will talk about the lockdown in Bournemouth. I'm living in Bournemouth and as I'm a journalist, I have that instinct to share the information because we need to be informed from the official sources. We will start talking about what it is, when it started, what are the allowance that we have. Lockdown is a state of isolation or restricted access institute as a secure measure, measure to stop the spread of the coronavirus. That's why we are doing social distancing. On 23rd of March, Boris Johnson announced the first phase. Good evening. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. The time has now come for us all to do more. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. If you don't follow the rules, the police will have the powers to enforce them, including through fines and dispersing gatherings. And I can assure you that we will keep these restrictions under constant review. We will look again in three weeks and relax them if the evidence shows we are able to. I urge you at this moment of national emergency to stay at home, protect our NHS and save lives. Since then, every day we have been updated through the daily coronavirus briefing, which you can find very easily on YouTube. Just type in what I just mentioned. Daily coronavirus briefing, that's it. On those videos, you will find very familiar faces. For example, Matt Hancock, that is the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care. The people is a bit stressed and confused to release the lockdown, but at the moment, how to stop the spread is the main issue. The resolution can be the vaccine. So I want to provide tonight, I'll be sending out more details in Parliament tomorrow and taking questions from the public in the evening. Covid alert level will be determined primarily by R and the number of coronavirus cases. The lower the level, the fewer the measures, the higher the level, the tougher and stricter we will have to be. There will be five alert levels. Level one means the disease is no longer present in the UK. And level five is the most critical, the kind of situation we could have had if the NHS had been overwhelmed. But for now, we must stay alert, control the virus and save lives. Thank you very much. Unlikely what other countries are doing regarding the face mask, in the UK we have a different perspective. Close covering, it means that you can use it to feel comfortable to go back to the office. Healthy people do not need to wear a face mask when they go about their daily business. Why not? It says in this situation there's no evidence to show that masks stop you from getting coronavirus. Masks themselves can actually become contaminated and infect you. For instance, if you touch something and then touch your mask or even your face. Also, masks give a false sense of security, so you may feel better protected than you actually are. It's very important that you are going to the website to understand what are the limitations for the social distancing two meters away of someone that is outside your household the first thing that you have to do if you are living in the uk you have to register yourself in the nhs uh, the gp closest to you and after that you can just call and book an appointment usually or frequently depending where you subscribe the next appointment on one week at the moment the people that is allowed to do that is the people that really need to go to the GP. For example, I am asthmatic, it means that I need to go to the GP frequently. But at the moment, what they are doing is to give in a call. So I had um, an appointment on 30th of April and they just called me, we chat about how I'm feeling. They send the prescription to my local pharmacy. As well, regarding dental practices, they are doing something very similar. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. It's 8 p.m. At the moment, exactly 8 p.m. 
every Thursday we have what is called Club for Our Carers. This is a campaign that involves Britain up and down the country to be involved in applauding the national health services, doctors, nurses, cleaners, healthcare staff, or the people that is on the front line. We need to clap because of them. So thank you very much. The first nationwide club took place on 26th of March because the Dutch Londoner Annie Mary Plas was inspired because that has been happening in the Netherlands. Work from home and money for the employed. The government is giving up to £2,500 just paying you to stay home. Coronavirus job retention scheme, if you can work from home like me, the government is not giving to you anything. Of course, I'm receiving the 100% of my salary bills. In Bournemouth, most of the people is living in a shared home with multiple people from different nationalities or you are sharing a flat with your friends, flatmates. But I'm living just with my boyfriend in my own flat. In that case, I have to pay electricity, council taxes, rent, the water. As I'm receiving the 100% of my salary, every month I have to pay what is called employee's national insurance. That is the amount being deducted for the national insurance contribution. As well, I have to pay the pension. Your employer takes your pension contribution after taxing tax. In the UK, we are paying everything. If you are with Lloyds Bank, if I don't have at all money and I am allowed to do the overdrive, you have to apply for it. If you are allowed to do overdraft, you can spend up to 500 and you will not have any interest for that. As well, EE has a very cool opportunity. They are giving unlimited internet for the NHS workers. And with Pure Gym, they are not charging this month. Shops and market, delivery, pickup, prices, experiences, all the known essential shop are shut. I can go to the off license or even I can go to Asta, to Lidl, all the normal supermarkets that I can use. Actually, I'm using uh, Roraima shop to request or to buy things from Venezuela. Even if you're going to the Asta website, you can arrange your delivery. You can pick everything that you want to buy. It's very cool, but actually I haven't been able to book any because it's always full transport. We have in Bournemouth yellow buses and more buses. Yellow buses is super cool. I mean, it's the one that I'm using frequently. If I'm, I, I really don't use a lot the public transport. I prefer to go with my bicycle. But if I'm using something, I'm using the yellow buses because I feel more comfortable with the app. You just have the app on your phone like this one and I'm showing you right now on the screen how it looks like. You have the mobile tickets, you have services updates. They are asking to you to go to this website that is we can help at yellowbosses.co.uk. They have this campaign that says supporting the NHS, key workers and our staff. They are mentioning that the majority of the people is staying at home, but people that is working for the NHS or key workers or the people that is working for the yellow buses, they have to use this transport. Therefore, they are asking to bright their days with a picture of you and a rainbow. You have to color. For example, the kids are doing that a lot. I have seen a lot of children on internet, on Facebook, that they are doing a small angel. It's a keyring of an angel with the rainbow is super cute. You can find that on our different Facebook groups. More both as the website is the same. You can stay up to date with the last information. You can see as well the rainbow for the day. They, they actually released a new campaign that says that on 7th of May, it means tomorrow, not today, these people is going out with multicolor like a rainbow so it would be very nice to see the pictures next about what are they doing at the university and the school what i know that they are doing through internet they have meetings through zoom youtube and they are just sending the works over there instead to do 
test or exam, they are doing final work. That is um, upsetting a lot of people because they don't feel prepared for that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not studying at the moment, so I'm not 100% sure. What I know is that on June, the school will go back to normality. They say intermittent normality. Intermittent normality. Useful apps. Um, depending on what are you looking for. If you are looking to be informed, of course, I will tell you to download all the different apps. For example, The Guardian, BBC, Sky News, you know, um, important newspapers. But if you would like to be connected with your friends, with your family, you can use something that is called Netflix Party. It means that you can share the what are you watching on internet on Netflix and you can share with them, you can talk about them, you can do a Zoom video call, exercises account to follow, uh, fitness people, you know, <laughs> to, to recover our bodies. I was looking on internet and I will give the top three of people that you may follow. All these ladies are from Pomov. You have Miroslava underscore fitness. You have your trainer Paola. And the last one is Ella Herrera 7. I will recommend to check the Purgin app. It's very cool. Next and last topic is my recommendations about the coronavirus. The first thing that you have to Thing at the moment is to open your mind and looking forward what do you want to do for your life who do you want to be tomorrow if you are going through internet you can try to search uh, free courses I just found a lot of websites that are giving free courses actually the Bournemouth and Poole College is offering free courses on internet. I'm doing these videos from Bournemouth because I'm a foreign person and I would like to share everything about the city where I'm living. I was looking at a lot of information. I didn't find what I would like to know about Bournemouth. That is everything. I was looking at a lot of information, but I think that it would be very helpful if you have any person that are thinking to move to the UK, to move to Bournemouth. Please share with them this video. Please let me know what do you want to know about Bournemouth. Thumbs up, hit notifications bell. Bye.